Hey there, fancy folk! Check out this huge box. What do you think is inside? Lenovo, you really outdone yourselves with this ridiculous packaging. Recently, I had this crazy idea to get rid of those flimsy protruding USB cellular modems and install a nice internal LTE modem on my sleek ThinkPad X V90. I went ahead and ordered two compatible cellular modems. Ok, now close up on the actual hardware. Here we got a generic LTE W1 module with M2 interface. It is based on Intel 7360 platform and here is my brand new Lenovo ThinkPad X390. And here is the SIM slot. So we're good to go. According to specs, supports downlink speed of up to 450 megabits per second and an uplink speed of up to 50 megabits per second. In short, pretty basic cellular modem. First, let's open up these five screws. Now lift the cover. Use prying tool if you don't like to put your nails to work. Here is the free M2 slot. Let's just go ahead and unscrew this. Move the antenna cables away and insert the modem. Then put the screw back. Now let's just connect the antenna cables. These are very small and delicate so you should try to be gentle. The colors should match as well. After we connected the modem and closed the back cover, it's time to insert the SIM card. Imagine my surprise when I got the SIM tray out. My thought was, what the hell? But after a second or two, I figured that this tray can never hold a SIM. Why, Lenovo? Why you forgot to cut a hole for a SIM card in some of these trays? It doesn't cost you anything to do it. Other than the fact that I can't insert the SIM card, the modem works perfectly and it is recognized by Windows automatically without the need of any special driver or anything. I sent a complaint to my Lenovo vendor but I doubt they will have a quick solution. So if you guys plan to do something like this, you better double check you have a good hole in your tray. Stay in school!